I'm here at Berlin's Protestant Hubertus Hospital and I'm meeting the Chief Physician of the Department for Vascular Surgery, Professor Weigang. Hi, thanks for having me today. We just saw in the report a patient with um, varicose veins and right now we're visiting a surgery from varicose veins. So, so when do you have to perform surgery? This patient has a swelling uh, of the lower leg, uh, especially in the late afternoon and in the, in the evening. Um, she has pain in the in the ankles, um, and of course, uh, when this kind of of disease uh, goes on the long run, the patient has uh, ulcer uh, in in the in the in the lower angles. Mm. Yeah. So, so what would happen if you wouldn't do the surgery? Is it just the ulcer, or is it the risk of pain thrombosis? It's, it's both. So it could happen that um, uh, the, the ulcer occurs in the long run of these disease, but also this patient with uh, insufficient uh, veins have a higher risk for, for thrombosis. Yeah, right. What happens right now? So in the moment, uh, this is the vena saphena parva, the smaller uh, vein of the surface. Um, the uh, colleagues uh, remove and strip the veins in the moment. That means that uh, the wire inside uh, removes uh, the, the vein completely. So when I tell my patients that you will remove a vein completely, they often tell me that they have problems understanding that the blood will still um, find its way back to the heart. So, so how is that possible? Yeah, it, um, we have, uh, especially in the lower part of the body, a lot of uh, uh, veins in the deeper leg as well as in the uh, surface of the leg. So when we remove the veins of the surface, then the deeper veins uh, will uh, complete the, the, the blood flow to the heart. Right. Yeah. We've got a viewer question from Kirsten Schultz. She suffers from a congenital connective tissue weakness and he has to wear support stockings. And her GP told her that she should get an operation. And now she writes that she can't see the benefit of the operation because according to her knowledge, other veins will then go bad. So is it really that way that other veins turn bad after removed? Especially patients with uh, uh, tissue disorder um, can, uh, it, it could be that then in the long run other uh, veins uh, get diseased and should be treated right. years after the first operation. So this is one kind of surgery, but you know, don't only offer this kind of open surgery, you're offering some kind of laser surgery. So yeah. what happens there? A puncture of the vein normally in the area of the angle, lower angle is done and then uh, a wire uh, with uh, the laser itself will be inserted and when we pull this backwards um, the laser will uh, heat uh, the, the vein, the inner part of the vein and the blood itself there and um, then uh, what happened in the, uh, after we remove the wire um, we have a closure of the vein and uh, of course, it, it, it will be cooked yeah, at the end. Many people think that's mainly old people who get a thrombosis, but they're young people too. Why is that? Yeah, that's absolutely correct. Uh, also, young people are um, on risk for thrombosis, especially, uh, for example, young female uh, with uh, um, the, the problem of anticonceptiva mm -hmm. uh, medication has a higher risk as well as uh, people with high body uh, weight uh, are at risk. Um, we also have a patient uh, after operations, for example, with immobilization, they are additional at risk for uh, thrombosis. Yeah. And, and why is it so important to um, treat a thrombosis in a very uh, short period of time? Thrombosis uh, could uh, extend from the lower leg uh, more proximally uh, towards the heart uh, to the upper leg <clears throat> as well as to the abdomen to the more uh, bigger uh, veins 
and these can cause embolism to the heart as well as to the lungs and this is a, a very dangerous situation then for the patients. So, so what are the main symptoms um, a patient should recognize to get their treatment as soon as possible? When the symptom starts, they start with a swelling of the lower leg, with um, tenderness and a little bit pain um, in, in, in the lower leg. So this would be the first symptoms. Also, when they move the leg, they, they have uh, pain in, 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 in this area then. So, so that's all true for deep vein thrombosis in the leg, but there's something like a vein thrombosis in the arm veins too. too. This is uh, not very often. Um, it should be an additional risk. For example, uh, these are patients when they have any catheter uh, in the upper mm -hmm. veins, um, then the risk for arm thrombosis is extended. So, so what's the gold standard in a therapy for deep vein thrombosis um, right now? The gold standard since a couple years is uh, heparin uh, therapy. Um, so heparin uh, is a medication, uh, an anticoagulation for the blood and should be given in the, in the early beginning of the thrombosis to uh, avoid um, extent of the thrombosis as well as uh, embolism of mm -hmm. the thrombosis. Then. Mm -hmm. We have several viewer questions, um, for instance from Christian Wiedmann from Ghana and he wants to know what's the latest scientific st um, status on thrombosis risk and prevention on long distance flights. Long distance flight is um, so-called uh, the economy class uh, syndrome. Uh, that means that uh, in the back of uh, the plane, normally the space for the leg is not as good as it should be. So uh, the stewardess uh, shows us uh, these nice videos to our long distance flights. And important as is that you move your legs uh, under the seat of your front uh, seat and that you stand up uh, every hour for example and move uh, a little bit around in the plane and that is the best prevention for deep vein thrombosis during the long distance flight that you could do. Uh, people at risk, uh, at higher risk for thrombosis should take uh, medication. Uh, it's the same medication uh, uh, for uh, prevention with heparin as for the treatment of the thrombosis itself. Mm -hmm. And is aspirin any help? There is research done in that, but it's not as helpful as uh, heparin. Okay. Yeah. Thanks so much for answering all my questions. Yeah.